Kevin, Mark, Miles, uh, Chris, you want to come up and regale us with a couple uh, theater racing uh, stories? Thank you, Bobby. Well, good morning. Uh, congratulations to you, Grant, for having Theodore Racing. Congratulations, Teddy, Beverly, David. Good, good work. Good work. Um, Teddy, if I may spend a couple of moments on him, uh, was one of those, I would like to phrase as a gentleman racer of the late 60s and the 70s and the 80s. He was kind of a the Rob Walker class of, of uh, car owners. He did it with style, he did it with flair, he did it with great panache. Uh, and I can tell you all that, those three adjectives arrived in Long Beach in September of 1975. When I first met Teddy, um, it was at a lunch at Lombardo's in those days. I was asked to go and meet him. I think Albert maybe remember those days. And uh, when Teddy arrived at the restaurant, it was almost like an 18-wheel truck came through the door. Because he, took, he literally took over, the, took over the place. Everybody wondering, who is this diminutive Chinese gentleman that just walked in that seems to now uh, run the place? And that was our first experience. So the second experience, and of course, Teddy, for us in 75, we didn't, we didn't really know who Teddy Yip was, and we didn't know what Teddy Yip brought to the table for that particular race, because not only did he, he brought Tony Brides, who at that time was being touted as the next English Formula One world champion, uh, driving for Granville's embassy uh, team, uh, but he came here to Long Beach and uh, did an outstanding performance. Uh, I think Mario won the pole that year for the first 5,000 race here. And then Tony uh, proceeded to uh, run away with the first heat in front of a very, very stellar driver uh, entry. And, uh, and what, was, what was interesting, because the car, which you all will remember, was run by Sid Taylor for, for Teddy, had all this Chinese writing on the side of it. So here was this American audience looking at this red car with this Chinese writing wondering what this Theodore, what was Theodore racing, and what was the Chinaman by the name of Tony Bryce, and where did he come from <laughs> driving this car? So it created a huge amount of interest, and Tony was a, quite a remarkable driver, unfortunately he broke in the second heat. But Teddy made his presence feel, the felt here, but he made his presence felt on one other occasion, which is, I've only told this story once before, and that was at uh, Al Hagen, who ran Toyota in those days' his, uh, funeral. Uh, on Wednesday night, there was a cocktail party uh, in, uh, on Santiago Street in Long Beach, put on by the Committee of 300. And Teddy was uh, asked to attend. Well, Teddy, not only did he bring Tony Price, but he brought Graham Hill that year with him as well. And those of you who knew Graham Hill, uh, he was a character. Uh, he was one of the true characters. And he and Teddy, uh, together in the same room, uh, was pretty much everything out of control. Well, at that cocktail party was Gurney, who was also a fun-loving character, uh, and Graham, and Phil, Hill, were there, and, and Teddy. And the, the, the bands have started, as racing car drivers will do when they're not in their race cars and they're on sort of neutral turf, they will start beating each other and poking each other with fun. And the conversation came up, I believe it was led by Teddy, I know it was led by Teddy, well, it would be nice to see you two pointing at, at Dan and Graham, uh, have it out with it on the streets like we normally do. And Graham's answer was, well, you know, Dan and I, we can bump doors on the Kingston Bypass just outside in, in London, but I'm not sure we'll be able to do it in, in, in Long Beach. So I thought about it for a second, and I said to Graham and, 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 and Dan and Phil, if the opportunity comes up this weekend, would you, would you three guys like to do a demonstration run on the circuit? They looked at each other, and of course, it was like putting match to gasoline in those three looked at each other like that. And they said, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. And, and Graham said, oh, no, we, we won't bend anything, don't worry, we won't bend anything. So I walked over to Al Hagen, presented the idea to Al Hagen at Toyota, and he thought about it, and he thought, this is a terrific coup. I can get a world champion, two world champions in my Toyota Celica. I can get Gurney in my Toyota Celica. We can do a demonstration run. He said, I'll try and make it work. From that point on, he went on Friday morning. Toyota brought over four Toyota Celicas, which Bill Simpson had put some safety harnesses in them. 
There's no roll cage. And on Saturday afternoon, the three of them plus Bob Bonnard did a five lap demonstration race identical to Toyota Celicus. They all crossed the finish line in dead heat, and thus was born the Toyota Celebrity Race. So thank you, Teddy, for your ingenuity and your mischievous thoughts about putting those four people in the Toyota Celicus and creating the Celebrity Race. Thank you, congratulations to you guys as well.